Students don't have consequences for their behavior. This year has killed me. This needs to be urgent in your minds. We have to make changes. We have to make them now. Now to Brockton schools. An emergency safety meeting ended a little more than two hours ago. Teachers testified one after the other, and what they said has left many concerned about keeping kids safe. NBC 10's Malcolm Johnson has the breaking details. I suffer from PTSD and anxiety, and this sadly, this year, has killed me. I have this last month been one of those teachers that has called out probably twice a week because I can't do it. Brockton High teachers. We are in chaos. We need help. Say the school is in crisis. Dangerously high mental and emotional exhaustion of staff members from feeling unsafe, unheard, and unsupported. Staff is fearful of students fighting each other and the teachers. I was pushed into a locker. I was then pushed into a wall and stepped on. The physical health. It is a hostile work environment and people have to stay home for their mental health. And mental health was discussed in an emergency meeting in front of the school committee Thursday night as emotionally exhausted teachers plead with their students. I don't ask them to respect me because I'm a teacher. I don't ask them to respect me because I'm an elder. I ask them to respect me because that's how I treat them. Tensions running high at the emergency meeting, with one person removed by police. The committee will now consider changes to a number of their policies. Among the issues, teacher absenteeism, bullying, violence, cell phone use, and vaping. The next meeting is set for next Tuesday, where the school committee will offer details on plans to improve safety at Brockton schools. Malcolm Johnson, NBC10 Boston.